This movie car could be the most famous and the most infamous movie car in history. This is the 1934 Ford driven by the most cunning, conniving criminal couple and cultural phenomenons all by the age of 23, Bonnie and Clyde. Their string of crimes spanned from 1931 to 1934. Along with stealing this car, they were believed to have committed 13 murders, several robberies and burglaries, and suspects in many other crimes. In 1934, they were both fatally shot in this car more than 50 times by four Texas and two Louisiana officers with automatic rifles and shotguns emptying 130 rounds on them. After Bonnie and Clyde were shot, the car was towed into town with them still in it. As they unloaded the bodies into the morgue, people were rushing the car trying to steal little parts for souvenirs. With nationwide interest, this death car started touring around the country on exhibition. By 1940, though, people were sick of it, mostly because scammers were cashing in with their own tours using their own replicas. When replicating, scammers would fill the car with live chickens before shooting the cars up to produce real bloodstains for a more realistic and convincing fake. This is one of the original replica death cars from the 1930s. What makes this car special is that even though it's a replica, it gained so much fame from being fraudulent that Warner Brothers used this exact car for their 1967 Bonnie and Clyde movie starring Worm Beatty and Faye Dunaway. If you want to see Bonnie and Clyde's real car, it's at Whiskey Pete's Casino in Las Vegas, along with many other really cool artifacts like Clyde's shirt when he was shot, documents and photos like this one of all the different license plates that they pulled from the trunk, and many other things. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to share the next movie car with you tomorrow. Speaking of gangsters, did I tell you I was once kidnapped by a gang of mimes? They did unspeakable things.